Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Holy Dice Kingdom. In today's episode, we're going to do a little bit of expanding, and then, hopefully, by the end of the video, or at very lightest, the next video, we are finally going to use an outpost to get a brand new island under our control. But of course, that's a bit in the future at the moment. I just want to make sure our populace are happy, they're safe, and and we kill anyone who comes close to our lands. You know, the dream of being a dictator in this glorious little world. So then, what I want to do first is I want to draw out a few plans to extend our reach to this area here. It's almost all barren land and I think it will be perfect for our next major residential area. Forgot the word for residential there. The place where people live. So what I think I'll do is destroy this wall here and then wall off everything. Actually, now I've said that out loud, perhaps we could do it the opposite way around. We could be a little bit more cautious and safe and not get people killed horribly. We could destroy all these trees, a bit of nature destruction because that's always fun, and then wall it all off, put some piers down here, and then that also acts as a new outer wall, similar to this wall here, protecting our beating heart of the kingdom. Yep, that's exactly what I want to do. Okay, so everyone we have spare, which is actually quite a few people, start doing that. And I also want to go ahead and put down a tavern. A new one, since they're complaining about the lack of alcohol. I will give them alcohol! Um, hmm. That's actually a really good place for it. I did not consider that. But then I couldn't put down the mansion. The manor, rather. Could just put it here, I suppose. Any big difference? Uh, doesn't quite get that house anymore. That's a little bit annoying, honestly. If I destroy that stone, would it be better over there instead? Getting a bit of frame rate loss, by the way. So I do ap apologize for that. I'll try and fix it in just a moment. Where's our current tavern? I kind of forgot. Okay, so there's our current tavern. Anything past this line is not being affected. Oh, I think here might be better. Yep, definitely there, because that might even be able to reach a manor if I put it there. Uh, no, not that. Where are you? Come on, give me the alcohol. Thank you. Yeah, it'll just about be able to reach it, and it will also affect all of these, which is honestly the most important part, since that's four manors. Okay, so people, please destroy these trees. Destroy nature, dispense alcohol. That's our way. Might need another charcoal maker as well. We're really using... Aha, the plague! There we are. No, no, I said there we are, hospital, go on. We don't have people dying of plague, that's not productive. Then let's do this. For once, we're getting a load of timber. Like, we have no issues with timber now at all. I might even put down two charcoal makers rather than just one. Uh, maybe three even. No, no, it's just stick for what? Ah, fire! The baker, and the cottage, and a bit of grass. Well, that was annoying. Hmm, although I could now make this into a manor. I was talking about this before, but I wanted the two bakeries here and here. Well, I guess now that this has happened, there's a good chance to actually do this, so... Manor goes there. Might even be affected by the tavern, which would be glorious. And then the two bakers just move on over here. Get to work, lads. If you don't want to be homeless, build yourself a house. Like my granddad always used to say. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head, but it did. Oh, wait, that's a tavern already, isn't it? Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that tavern. I am blind as a bat. Really, though? You have two taverns, and that's not enough. Wow, that's just greedy. Though I do sort of respect it at the same time. Um, guess we could just put it here, then. Or we could place it here, <laughs> since we will be placing more houses soon. If this is going to be a new, an, a new residential area, putting it like there would be good. So maybe we'll just do that last then, I suppose, yeah. Meanwhile, let's figure out this then. So I want this area as well. Or do I? Maybe I should just do it from here now, that way it won't take as long. Yeah, that would make more sense. So we want one pier. There we are. That's not a pier. Try again, Lathrix. Add a boy. A dragon is sighted! You're heading to your doom, you know, dragon. You're somewhat scarier. Okay, move in a little bit more. Ow! 
And there's a dead dragon. Yep. Wait, you still managed to destroy a farm? Uh, which, oh. Really though? There you go. Now what was I doing? Oh yeah, these. One pier already sorting itself out. Lovely. And then... How big do we want this? We don't need it too big. We can always add extra layers later. There's the thing. Then start chopping down some trees. Okay, so C for chop. Okay, that would make a lot more sense. People were telling me that I should learn the hotkeys. And you know what? You are perfectly correct. I do need to learn them. Oh, yeah, that's some good nature destruction there. We're actually out of stone. Oh, yeah, because we're holding all the stone over here. Desired zero. We're not selling stone at the moment. You know what? I think I will add another charcoal maker. We're clearly not getting enough. So, because this is so far away from the food and from charcoal and such, we will have to put a market in here. That is something we will have to do. Look at that. Just... Utter devastation. Yes? Hmm. We got him, Zaya! Hmm. It took too long to harvest. Yeah, because we were full of food, that's why. Once again, we're doing just fine for food, seriously. Still need to redo this area, though. This is good, though. I did a bit of mental math. And if you have a 3 by 9 area, doing it like this with the windmill stacking is actually slightly better than having each one of these with eight unique farms. I actually had to put it in an Excel spreadsheet and put all the numbers in. Yeah, it, I had to prove it to myself because I'm not particularly good with math, so... The things I do for the YouTube videos. Do I, do I actually want to sell anything to buy anything? Well, we have nothing to sell for a start, so that's pretty good. Oh no, we have one thing we can sell. But of course, we can just buy. Ooh, I will buy 163 stone. No, I, w I could do. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. Who said their taxes weren't being used well? Uh, okay, I'm going to just up the taxes for a second so I get my money back to pay all the soldiers. I mean, I could actually put some of these towers out of work for a while. They do continually level up their skill, but it seems like they stop after a certain amount, which looks like maybe 30. So, I really should do that. But the thing is, see, I don't know how this works. I don't know how the village of management in this game works by itself. If I were to remove these soldiers, the ones which have already leveled up, and they go and get another job, they start working at something else, then I demand more people back on the ballista or back on a archer tower, will it pick those same soldiers, the higher skilled ones, or will it be from the idle first? That's something I don't know, so I will look that up, and then once I know that, that's when I will go ahead and start doing that. Yes? Mm. Yeah, 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 too long to store the harvest, the harvest things are full though, we don't really care too much. Um, could put a gate here as well. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That seems like a plan to me. I'm also considering building a bit of a fort over here. So all of this. And having that space almost solely for just loads of defense towers. Also, we could build up into the water a little bit. I don't know how far we can get before it starts becoming this island. But either way, when the enemy attacks again from here, which really scared me last time, we're sort of blocking off an exit and defending the entire waterway, which I think is pretty good. Also, also, this corner needs defense, like now. Oh, look at our little blocky workers. Aren't they sweet? Yes? I know we have more food than we can store. So stop complaining about us not storing enough food. Would it be worth adding some of the... Hmm. Considering doing some of the wooden castle blocks over here for that fort, just because we have them spare. And I think it'd look pretty cool as well, having it like attached on the outs- Oh yeah, that's the other thing as well. It would look different to the rest of the fort. Which I think would be a really nice touch. Do need some of these though, which is an issue. 
Oh, we can't build in deep water. Well then. Well then. We'll do that then. Then. Then, 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 then. then. And then we'll put one there. Okay? Okay. The problem is these, these the problem is these are vulnerable to fire, I think, so. Yeah. The fact that the castle block specifically states that it's immune to fire kind of hints to me that the wooden block, being made of wood and such, isn't immune to fire. Little bit of a concern there, which means I will have to put a well in here and make sure we have access for the citizens. I love how much resource we're getting now. Compared with earlier, when we had to wait for everything. Oh, don't need that there. Whoops, a daisy. Put that in the wrong place. So I'll, I'll simply destroy that and put a gate there. Then put a well straight away. Um, in fact, I might do two gates. Have a gate there, then a gate there. This way, this is completely separate. And if this gets breached, it's not going to harm us at all. Yes? Uh, people are unhappy. Why? Just taverns are too, too crowded. Okay, that's fine. Make sure people have enough food to it. I hmm. think they do. They definitely do. Even added an extra farm recently. Without adding more populous. Oh, wait, no, I, I did then add populous. Well, I forgot about that, so it still counts as not. I just added stone by mistake. Come on. Let's go with the theme here. Oh, so that's a problem, I suppose. Sire, our builders say that wood walls cannot exceed three levels due to wood construction limitations. I mean, that's a bit of a shame. Well, I guess then what we could do is just build stone on the inside like this. And kind of build like a mini fort within this fort, and then the wooden wall is there more as a protect the more valuable stone element. That makes sense, right? Makes sense to me, at least. Man, our people are not happy. Oh, yeah, taxes. Whoops. <laughs> I completely forgot I'd left it on three taxes there. Oh, people were probably starving to death, not able to buy food. Oh, what a shame. Mm. Yeah, these two are still maxed out. Um, uh, people are ill. The hospital's still on there, right? Yes, it is. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Maybe I should have built one of these areas at a time. Starting to think that might have been smarter. Yeah, 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 people are, ha people are unhappy, but guess what? You can have a festival. There you go, plus 15. There's a fire. Anyone? There's a well right there. Right there. We you actually put it out. I am so proud of you all. Normally, you're idiots with that. No offense. Could do it like that, or perhaps... Because we need walls to go up around it so that this wall can go as high as possible. And since this is mostly going to be fending off the ogres and the ships, then the ballista is obviously far more important. Then we could just add some archer towers around the edge, I guess. Okay. Keep them happy. Let's put down some moats. Actually, are we going to expand this way in the distant future? Probably not, so I think moats here as well would be kind of cool. Um, our workers getting here is going to suck, because there's not a gate right now, but I don't really want to use the stone on that, because I want stone elsewhere. There we are. Whoa, 65 people ill. The usual stuff every year, keep telling me. I am trying to pay more attention to them, though, because they do warn me when Vikings are about to attack and such, and I completely ignore them, because I keep on expecting them to say the same things. There we are, Fort Lafstein. Or something. Yes? Yeah, 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 I know. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of plague deaths. Uh, we might need a new hospital then once we um, extend this area. 
Or we could just do a festival! Maybe I should just put the new tavern down now. I mean, I'd like to put the houses down first, but still... Yep, as soon as I get enough stone, I'll put down a new gate there, and we'll instantly put down a tavern. So that tavern reaches all of that, so... Yeah, the tavern here is never going to be able to affect houses which aren't already affected by that one, so just put it there straight away, I suppose. That'll give everyone plus 10 happiness. We need the gold, though, at the moment, so... Yay! And we definitely have enough charcoal now, which is to be expected, since we do now have six charcoal makers. Oh, wow, the moat really just looks like water. That's cool. Oh, that looks awesome! I wonder what happens if you put a moat next to a moat. A dragon is sighted! However, I'm just more interested about playing in the river. How about if I do that? Now, I'm hoping removing these will be easy. Okay, where's the dragon? Up taxes just for a little bit. Hmm. Yay, dragon's dead. Hmm. And, and on the upside, the dragon death will give me plus happiness, so the taxes will mostly be ignored for a while. It's amazing how they dig by standing there. Where are you guys going? Wait, is that how you get to the moat? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's... That's pretty dire. <laughs> I thought you might be able to warp through something. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, whoops-a-daisy. Whoops-a-doodle. Okay, we have enough stone, so you go bye-bye. Go bye-bye. Go bye-bye. Oh, yeah. I would have got stone back by doing that, wouldn't I? I could have done that earlier. Well, I was focused on the moat anyway, so no harm really done. Where are you? There you are, booze. Hmm, there might be better though. It gives almost everywhere some access. And then next to that we could put a library or a church. How big is the church? Is it 3x2? Or is it... Yeah, it's a 3x2. Huh. I'd like to just put manors all the way along the back here. So if we had a new church... Actually, no we don't... What am I saying? The church has a huge radius. We, we do not need a new church unless they start complaining about the church being too packed or whatever the church version of that would end up being. And then the middle might be better though. Look at that. Almost complete coverage. There, actually, because this one's covering a lot of that. So, yeah, let's put some roads down first. Really should min-max how I put the houses down here, but I'm kind of just going to go off what I think looks good, honestly. So don't expect this to be the perfect area. Oh, look at that. Actually, that's pretty nice. Shame I can't put like a little door there. Ooh, actually, I could put... Well, I could put the treasure room there. Oh, look how nice that looks. But then all the Vikings are going to go for that, and it's only being protected by wooden walls, and I'll end up losing money every time they attack. And that's like, that's like the reverse point of this. Oh, that's such a shame. But doesn't that look nice? Could put the mason there. Actually, it might be good, because that can repair things. I was meaning to add one of those soon, so... But I think it'd be best here, in the actual main area. There we are. Put two of those on the top. And then we'll have... Some archer towers just peppered on the actual wooden armour itself, wooden walls. Okay. Maybe I should have made that too thick instead, the wooden walls. But you know what? This is all walled section anyway, so it's not too bad. Mm. Ap Who are starv- I am seeing no unhappiness from starvation. I am seeing no houses with no food. Look, in pantry, 17 out of 15. What peasant is starving? In pantry, 36 out of 30. They are breaking how- Oh, I'm guessing maybe it's 30 out of 36. Yeah, maybe it's that way around. No, it has to be that way around. You never put it the other way around. Speaking of which, I still haven't turned these into manners yet. M ah, maybe it was the people- Maybe it's these guys. Can I check you? Doesn't give me their stats, though. Ain't too much recently. This is the old thing. I don't know who could possibly be starving right now, that's all I'm saying. So... Actually, probably there is the best, because this way... 
If we put if we put manas along the edge here as well, they only need I think they only need one of their tiles to be filled. Then they count as being within radius. Put that there for a second. Oh, then one didn't. Okay, stop that. Nope. Change change of plan. So the library can go here or here. That's fine. And the tavern goes there next to it. Okay. And the first mana can go here. I think that's how we're going to do this. Actually, you could put the well here, then the library there. We're definitely going to need wells in this area. And there we are. Yep, that library gets a lot of access. Of course, it doesn't get road access itself, which kind of sucks, but I want the well to have road access far more. Okay, what can I put here then now? One there, one there. Yeah, definitely could have min max that a bit better, honestly. And we still can. We could, of course, just stop this, but that's fine. In those spaces where we only have a gap of one or two, we can always just put cottages like we originally intended. Well, not originally intended, but cottages aren't that much worse than manors. And there are plenty of other little things we can add as time goes by. Such as wells or the market and such. Oh yeah, the market. Um, market could go there. Or it could go there. Yeah, I like it there because it's next to everything else. Definitely didn't do the math right with the cottages and manors. But once again, that's not really a big issue. Yes. Hmm. Usual gubbins, okay. Bikers are doing loads of work. Now, though, now I've got all this, we do need to start fortifying this area because, of course, now this is vulnerable. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Fortify the floor. Actually, what we could do is keep it like that and then have... That'd look kind of cool, having this whole chunk here as our fortification. You know what? That was an accident, but we're going to go with it. It was a happy little accident. Oh, for Pete's sake. That wasn't, though. That was an upsetting and angry accident that made everyone sad. Except for John. But John's always happy. Oh, wow. Look at that. The moat. That looks amazing. Yeah, continue with that. Um, I know people don't like getting here, but don't really care, honestly. Kind of turning our fortification into an island. Let's increase our happiness just for the moment. We can lower taxes now, finally, back to how they were, which is lovely. And fest... Uh, wait a little bit before that festival. Hmm. Thankfully, though, as we get some new people in, we'll get more money so we can make everyone a bit happier. Now we can do a festival. Oh, our little fort has grew so much today. Still didn't finish off this area, though, did I? Yeah. There we are. The, the market's working fantastically. It's got food and it's got charcoal. What more could the people want, eh? Look at that. That was an accident. But I kind of like it. Actually, no, I don't. I've changed my mind. Someone, swim over there and put a moat on it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's going to be sad for some poor worker. Send your lowliest of peasants. Oh, my God. Our population isn't found. 
Population 404. Hello, moat workers. You have done your empire proud. Be happy this day. My happiness has gone back up. Excellent. Lovely. Why are you so less happy than this fella? I can't see the difference in your buffs. 82, 67. I don't know. I really don't. There's the tavern, there's the library. Could have just pushed in there. I mean, if they need to read, we're not going to give them premium space, are we? I mean, come on. I mean, it's just reading. Why would you need reading to fulfill your idle hours when you can have beer? And this is why I shouldn't rule any area ever. Or, or maybe it's why I should rule every area ever. It's all about perspective. No, I wanted to put down... Thank you. You go there. Yes. Hello there, merchants. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Uh, you have stone for us. I would love some, thank you. As you can see, we're renovating the place. Also, that looks really out of place now, that little arch tower. Ah, well. Kind of feels like I'm playing... They are billions right now of how many layers I'm thinking about adding. Also, it's been ages since we've been attacked. I wonder if it is based on population or gold, they attack. I don't really know. I have had a comment basically saying every different thing when it comes to when Vikings invade. I've had people telling me it's the year. I've had people telling me it's all based on how much gold you have. I've had people telling me it's the population. And then I've also had people telling me it's the size of your kingdom, how much space you take up. So I'm really a bit confused about that. Hmm. Yay, Vikings are coming. Please don't attack over here. We're not done yet. No, I wanted to talk to the advisor. What did he want to say to me? No. Let me talk to him. The usual. He's talking about the usual. We have loads of idle people, though. Could be down to more farms. Um, not that we need them. Like, at all right now. Could be down to more bakeries. Not that we need them right now. What do we need? More quarries. Well, we have no stone to actually use right now. Over here we have some stone. I guess we could... Make a mini fort over there, just like a road all the way, and fortify. Oh, of course you're attacking this way. Uh, this isn't going to go fantastically now, is it? The answer, by the way, is no. I mean, you can kind of protect, right? And you can sort of protect, but that's it. <laughs> Boing. Do you have any ogres with them? If you have no ogres, then we should be okay. Because they can only attack the outside. I mean, seriously, ogres are the only threat. And I see none. Yeah, all they're going to do is the usual burn down outside of the town. And only a little bit. Because we do have enough defense to hurt them. A lot. We could actually consider fortifying this area. I mean, it's all we ever lose. And it's so cheap. It's just so easy to replace. All I really care about is making sure that these walls don't get breached. So we don't lose the expensive stuff like the manors. And even then, as you can see, a lot of it's being repaired. Oh, can you please put out the stockpile? One person was kidnapped. So we lost a forester and a quarry. Is that what we've lost? And actually, yeah, once I armor up this area over here with some protection, then the, the quarries are finally protected. Yep, that was very little. We lost a forester and a couple of quarries and one person. If that's the best they can do, then not too terrified. Of course, as they go on, I imagine they'll send ogres and stuff a lot more often. At the moment, they're kind of not. Have a festival. The Vikings have invaded, but it's okay. You can all relax. And apparently some tried to attack over here and just got beat back.
meet my archer tower section. You know what? I'm going to do that again over here. The four high section. I think it looks really cool. And this would finish off the protection we need over here, which is lovely. Uh, how high are we? Did it get a bit higher than that? Is that the same height as the other one? I think it is. No, it's definitely taller. There we go. I still feel fairly safe, honestly. Sire, it took too long to blah 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 blah. Oh look, a dragon is here to cheer up our kingdom. For as it dies, it will bring happiness to all. In fact, we're so happy, I'm gonna raise the taxes. Well done, dragon. You are the dragon of happy taxes. And while that stays up, I'll just collect more taxes, because gold is always good. Gold is indeed always good. Okay, so... I want that one taller than the other, so I think that's how I want that. Because I think that, that looks really cool. Then having it one higher than the average wall on the two sides. So, wall there. Why do I keep doing that? I do not know. No, stop. I mean, to be fair, it was that kind of accident that first made me think about this type of wall section, but... Could you stop? Me? Could you stop? Hmm. We got him, sire. Okay, let's put the taxes back down. Still earning a lot, even with the extra... Ooh. Yep, still need more people, though. Still need more people. That looks lovely. Once again, let's just do this. And then... Archer Tower, Archer Tower, Archer Tower, and Ballista. And now back over here. Finishing off the wooden fort. I think I will do this just to increase how much armor we have around it. And then, do I add more defense towers here? I mean, we could do, but it's sort of costing us a fortune with all this new stuff over here. Maybe once we have more houses. So, with that, cottage. Just pop that in there. And then, I'm looking at this and realizing we do not have as much space as I originally thought. A manor there will be good. That takes up the space. We could make this a seriously high defensive area and double wall this, and then just have manners all the way along here. That makes this such a difficult place to attack from, and that would kind of finish off our semi-internal defense. And I think that's a good thing to do, because it would also look freaking awesome. And a load more manners as well. Might actually need more food soon. Perish the thought. Windmills. I do also want to start adding more orchards for some more sustainable food production since they can't be flooded. And honestly, they look really nice. <laughs> On top of everything else, they just look nice. Just put them down here. I mean, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, that's perfect space for two of them. There we go. Excellent. So, areas we need more protection still. Kind of need more here. All we have is Ballista and nothing else. Just one Ballista, two Ballista, three Ballista, four. Um, over here we have Archer Tower sections, and that's it. Also, isn't the plural for Ballista Ballista? Ballista? I think it's spelt with an A-E. Could be wrong. We'll look it up. I'm sure at least one person's been annoyed by that by now. And honestly, I don't blame you. There 
That one's happy. Good. Might actually raise the taxes then. Yeah, there's no need to have so much excessive happiness when you're not trying to grow the town. Oh, here's a problem. I kind of want that road to continue down, so I think that would look nice if we ever extend this, which we might do. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, I wanted the Great Hall. Talk about perfect. I have no idea where the door is on this thing. As I hiccup. There. I have no idea what the Great Hall does, but I'll want it. I'm sure I read something about food. I like food. 132 peasants have been taken ill by the plague. Okay, yeah, very, very soon then, we need to add ourselves a new hospital. Like, anywhere, though, because to be fair, they can run out so quickly, just we need it somewhere. How big is hospital? Kinda huge, honestly. Uh, oh, there you go, there's something which makes that look a bit better. Kinda like an entrance way, right? Where is the entrance? Oh, okay. Oh, that doesn't look as... That's not entrance. Wait, wait, where is it? Oh, I do not see the door. Am I going mad? I mean, I mean there's like an entrance kind of there. In the front of the... But I can't see a door, though. It's got like the way into the herbalist section. But okay, fine. Still quite a few affected by the... Actually, you did a great job there. No, you didn't. 32 still died. That is not a great job. I take that back. Plague docks? That was terrible. Taverns are too crowded again already. My god. You are such heavy drinkers. Town Square. There's a festival and your taxes have been lowered. Yay! Also, I would like another... Where are you? Another well somewhere here. Huh. Like, here would be best, but I can't really destroy- I mean, I could destroy one of these mansions to put a well down and some other stuff. Like, oh, like a well and maybe a tavern? That's a good thing you could do. How about that? Well goes there. Tavern goes here. Don't know what goes there yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something in the not-so-distant future. Oi, oi. More festivals! More alcohol! But you're no longer saying that the taverns are too full. Was that enough? What? Did you not need this tavern? Yes or no? Well, the population is increasing rapidly anyway, so maybe once it goes back up after the plague, death is completely repaired. Maybe then. Don't know if I'm ever going to add a wall here, a um, gate, but we can always just destroy the wall when I do that. Great Hall. Eat grand meals here every day. What does that do, though? It's not... It's not giving a bonus or anything. It's just there. Why do you exist? Is my question. Okay, I don't get the point of the Great Hall. At all. Okay, food's going down. Food is going down, so what we need is a couple more granaries. Put a granary there. One of the small ones, or granary, granary, whatever. And... Could just do more orchards, but at the same time, I do love how these look. More than anything, I just love how this looks with the overlapping things. Sorry, but yep, that's what we're doing. Did I just put that one the wrong way around? If I did, then I'm going to be really annoyed with you, viewer. Because you let that happen. You should be ashamed of yourself. There we are. Okay, that one's kind of crap, that last um, windmill. Kind of forgot about the whole, you know, water thing. No, nope, food's doing just fine. I just added way more food production for nothing. Oh. Could put them there. I mean, that doesn't hurt. Sure. I really like our little farm area. It's so pretty. 
And you know what? Someone gets to live here. Someone have a hovel here. This will be the most sad hovel in our entire kingdom because no neighbors, doesn't have the well. Oh yeah, there's no wells here. Never mind. Never mind, you are now a well. Saying that, do you think irrigation helps with the fire risk? No. Makes sense, really, but would have been nice if it did. Still have no idea what the Great Hall does, though. Continue to make the ultimate wall. Yeah, any, anyone attacking from this side is basically doomed now. We're still vulnerable here. We're still vulnerable-ish here. We're very vulnerable along this strip, but this section here is now fully protected. And we can add a gate here soon and extend this all the way down here. And that will be amazing. Also, the mason is now here. So that's good. The mason can apparently repair with stone. I don't know how that works. Maybe I should have put it closer to some kind of stone reserve. That would have made more sense. Now I think about it, but it's there. Yeah, this looks so much better than these little weird outcroppings. Farms up and running? Yes, they are. There are no need for this many farms. On the upside, though, it means we don't have to worry about food for a while. Also, if we extend this here, we could add a load of the... piers all down this section. So all these can be houses and stuff and stockpiles and what have you, and then this can just connect like this. Then we build another one of these over here. How's our gold income looking? Looking better, especially considering we added so much more military. Still haven't actually added an army, though. Oops. No, I want to see the dragon fight. Wow, that's about to hurt. Bonk. Well, that was quick. No. Yes. And then this needs to be one higher. And that looks awesome. You there! You have nothing that interests me in the slightest. Well done. How are tools doing? Tools doing just great still. Yes? We, yep, we can kill dragons. Quarries still need more people to move the stuff, I know. God, look at that. That's already full. So is that. So is that. So is that. <laughs> oh, wow, we're doing good for food. Okay, gold and food are doing just fine. So with that, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I wasn't going to even record this, this video because, well, it's quite late now, but I just had to play a little bit more. I am so loving this game at the moment, and hopefully it will continue to be updated and add more stuff, because right now we are, of course, in the beta build. Anyway, this is an updated build, so I can't wait to see even more. And there's still so much more to do. I want to extend more. I want expand, rather. I want to expand more. I want to take these islands as my own. I want to sort out this forest area, finally. There's this whole area over here here we're not even using including more stone reserves to speed up armoring up we could try and span the entire island if people want to stick around that long that'll be quite a while and overall it's just gonna be really fun also apparently we can put an outpost on this island which I'm going to do and put like two farms there and it's going to be called the hermit island anyway I also need a name suggestion for the islands so put those in the comments thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed then of course likes favorite shares comments all that good stuff helps out me helps out the channel and most importantly shows that kingdoms and castles is a series you wish to see continued in the future thank you so so much for watching and goodbye